Hello everyone, today we're going to learn how I can prove that the chemical reaction is a redox reaction starting from the oxidation number. So step one is to find the oxidation number of all elements present in the reactant and the product side. By definition, a redox reaction is an oxidation reduction reaction where we have a change in the oxidation number between the reactant and the product side. Let us start with the reactants. The oxidation number of Al is zero since it is present in the free state. What about oxygen? Oxygen is present as a diatomic element. So the oxidation number of O in O2 is equal to zero. Since Al2O3 is a compound, so the sum of oxidation number of all elements present in it is equal to zero. We have no charge here. In order to find the oxidation number of oxygen in Al2O3, I suppose it is X. And it is given that the oxidation number of Al in it is equal to plus 3. So let us apply the rule. How many aluminum atoms do I have? I have 2 aluminum atoms in 2. Plus 3. Mathematical equation. Plus 3 into x. We said that the sum of oxidation number in this neutral compound is equal to zero. Let us find x. So x is equal to negative six over three, which is equal to negative two. Pay attention, I write the oxidation number as Roman number. By now we have found the oxidation number of all elements in this chemical reaction. Just a remark while finding the oxidation number of the elements in the reactant and the product side, ignore the coefficients which are present in the chemical reaction. Now let us compare the oxidation number on both sides. Concerning Al, we can observe that the oxidation number has increased from 0 to plus 3. Hence, it undergoes oxidation reaction. This arrow up means increases. What about the oxidation number of oxygen? The oxidation number of oxygen has decreased from zero to negative two. Hence, it undergoes reduction reaction. Let's write this statement. Since I have oxidation reduction reaction and a change in the oxidation number of elements between the reactants and the products hence this chemical reaction is said to be a redox reaction this is what am i supposed to write in the explanation 